Okay, we have seen what is MapReduce. It's a massive parallel processing technique for processing data which is distributed on a commodity cluster. So basically it's a parallel processing technique for processing data rather than doing it serially, which definitely saves time. Let us see one real world problem to understand this concept easily. So can you solve this real world problem? Amazon wants to calculate its total sales city wise for the year 2015 in India. The data goes something like this. Now in traditional computing environment, how will you solve this problem? And you will do it maybe using hash table where key is the city name and amount is the value. But if, if you run this on one terabyte of data, which Amazon has, it will take long time to read and process it. In fact, it may run out of memory also. So because of the huge amount of data, Amazon wants to use MapReduce technique to solve this problem. In MapReduce job, there are two phases, the map phase and the reduce phase. So now what Amazon does is, rather than giving the task to one person, it splits the whole data into chunks on the basis of months. So we can say that each mapper gets data of each month. So we have 12 mappers which get data of each month and work on it parallelly at the same time with small fractions of data. Now what will mappers do? The first mapper will get the first record as the name of the city and the amount of sales and write it on the index card. Then take the next record like Jaipur and write the sales on the other index card and save them. Now as they uh, pile up they, uh, they get data for the same city on the same pile. Now they pile up the data and get the same data or a city on the same pile. By the end, each mapper will have pile of cards per city. Now the mapper job is over. After the mapper job is over, reducer will get these piles of cards. We can tell each reducer which city they are responsible for. For example, we can tell reducer 1 that it will be responsible for north cities. We can tell reducer 2 it will be responsible for south cities. R3 will be responsible for east and the other reducer will be responsible for the west cities. Now the redu reducer retrieves the piles of cards for their cities. So they collect all small piles from the respective cities and then supposing it will, it's not, so it will collect the piles only of Delhi and they create a larger collection of data and they have larger piles now. Now what they do next is they all add all amount of all the cards in the pile and get the total sales per city. For organizing it in a proper manner, they can sort it in alphabetical order like uh, Delhi will come before Jaipur. So now let us see uh, what are mappers and reducers in detail. So mapper maps input key value pairs to a set of intermediate key value pairs. Maps are the individual tasks that perform input records into intermediate records. So mappers basically work in parallel. We call that output as intermediate records which in our case was index cards that we have seen in index cards. Now Hadoop deals with data in form of key value. So they, these records are key and value and for our example we have seen that key is the city name and value is the sales total for each particular piece of input. So mapper generates this intermediate records and it has key value pairs. After mapper finishes there is one more phase in map reduce that is called shuffling and sorting. So shuffling is basically movement of intermediate records from mappers to reducers. So the process of exchanging the intermediate outputs from the map tasks to where they are required by the reducers is known as shuffling. So this is basically movement of records from mappers to reducers. Then reducers will sort the records. Now what will reducer do? Reducer reduces a set of intermediate values which share a key to a smaller set of values. All of the values with the same key are presented to a single reducer together. So reducer works on one set of records at time 
and it gets key and list of values. For example, city name is the key and list of values will be all sales. So then it will process the data like adding the all the sales. So it processes the data and adds up the data as our final result. So let us see the whole flow in one diagram. So we have preloaded local input data. Then mapper generates the intermediate data which we have seen in our index cards. Then values are exchanged by shuffle process. Reducing process then generates the output and the output is stored locally. So this is how the whole map reduce flow goes. Hope so you have understood mapper and reducer well. If you have any queries, you can post it in our question answer section. Thank you.